Today we're going to go over what do you do when you have a flip on the market and it's not selling. Times have changed and the markets have changed. Now we're looking at properties that are sitting on the market. Price decreases are not helping. What do you do when your lender starts asking you for their money back, starts raising rates, and you're kind of in a bind of do I sell it, take the hit, or do I refinance it? Today we're going to go over those options of refinancing. The one thing you want to make sure in this market is that your money prepared for the next market that's coming up. But we anticipate over the next 12 months, the Fed's gonna keep raising rates, which will make the economy softer, which means there's gonna be more deals. You wanna make sure your money ready then. You don't want property sitting on the market, taking up space, taking up money. What do you do? We have many clients calling us all the time, even our own clients going like, what do we do when these properties won't sell? Of course, there's the traditional methods out there. You could go to your bank, you could go get a Fannie Freddie conforming loan, but what do you do in those kind of programs? You don't fit in their box, or maybe you have too many properties, or you just need to close quickly to move on. What are your options? First one we recommend is if you're looking at keeping it a little bit longer term, and that is a DSCR loan. What is a DSCR loan? A DSCR loan is basically a rental loan that you could use based on just your credit, the loan to value, and the rental income from that property. When you're looking at a DSCR loan, we wanna go over the pluses and the negatives when you're taking a flip to a rental. So the pluses for DSCR, you could typically get anywhere from an interest only to a 40 year, so you could spread the payments out, match the cash flow that you're probably getting from that property, and maybe even bring in positive cash flow. It frees up your money to buy more flips to keep your business going because in the next three to six months, you're gonna see some really good deals come out. You wanna make sure that money's freed up. They'll lend up to 80% of the value. So that is one trick you need to understand when you're going through listing something on the market. If you're listing something and you keep dropping the price, when you go to refinance, the appraiser is gonna come in and see where your last price was and they're not gonna appraise it higher than that. You really have to determine what you wanna do with this flip now before you keep lowering your price because if you want to refinance you don't want to keep lowering that price it will impact you the positives again are the dscr you don't need income you just need rent and you just need a good credit score the negatives or some of the things you have to think about the biggest one is a prepayment penalty all dscr loans have some kind of prepayment penalty that just means you have to keep the loan for a certain period of time or they'll charge you an exit fee. Every year for the first three years, they will charge you some kind of exit fee if you pay it off early. DSCR loans also are not strategically placed in smaller towns. So if you're in a larger community, they're great, but if you have a property in a smaller town, they're not designed for smaller towns. And as things tighten up, their programs are tightening up. Rates are going up, LTVs are going down, and they're concentrating even more city center. If you're within 25 miles of a city, you're typically all right. But if it's anything that's rural or shows up rural in an appraisal, they're probably not gonna offer a DSCR loan. Besides DSCR loans, the next thing we would recommend is a bridge loan. A bridge loan is just a short-term loan anywhere between one and three years that gives you flexibility because you could keep it on the market that doesn't matter. You could actually rent it during that time. That doesn't matter. Bridge loans are great for flexibility when you're looking at getting out of a flip and putting it into something either longer term, maybe you're still gonna flip it, but you need to just get out of your lender or start renting that property. Bridge loans have a lot of pluses, like there's no prepayment penalty. They're interest only, and typically they're quick to close because if you're looking to refinance a flip, you want to get out of that loan as soon as possible because we know you're probably getting a few calls from your lender to move that property. Plus, you don't want to keep paying monthly payments when nothing's coming in. Now, on the opposite side, there are the negatives. Typically, they're only one to three years, so they're short term. And if we're looking at this market, it's probably going to not turn. The interest rates are not going to go down till maybe next November or December. So we're probably about a year away from that happening. You probably want something that's longer than a year just to give you that security flexibility even. So you probably want something two years. Some of the bridge loans are now limited to only one year. There are some that go up to two years. In the past, just for reference, you could get a three-year bridge loan, no problem. Also, loan to values on bridge loans, they may only lend up to 65 or 70% of the current appraised value. 
And just remember on the current appraised value, that will be reflected partly on what you're listing the property for also. If you have taken a few knocks, taken it down, getting that price down to maybe see if you can find a buyer, that's gonna affect your appraisal and it'll affect what you can refinance it out for. Now quickly, when we talk to someone and we go over a DSCR loan that has a prepay and a bridge loan that doesn't, we always go over the tipping point because there's usually a tipping point somewhere between 14th and 17th month where the prepay becomes cheaper than a bridge loan that does not have a prepay. So you should always look at what your tipping point is and that is because you're always paying somewhere between two and four points higher interest rate annually on a bridge loan over a DSCR, at least in this current market. Your last option that we're gonna go over today is what we call real OPM. That's real other people's money. That's putting someone out there who has money looking for a better return, matching them up with you. Before we get into that, we'd love to help you. Send us your deals. We could show you your tipping point, your options. Just like this video, share this video. It helps other people just like you get out of these flip loans when they're in desperate need. Real OPM is what you need now and even in the future. So you should be looking for this. It's finding other people out there who are in the same situation. There are retired people out there. The inflation is hitting them just as hard as it is you. And they want something better than a two or 3% rate from a credit union or a bank. If you could maybe give them six, 7%, have them become your lender, that fixes both problems. Cause typically they're not gonna be worried about credit, loan to value, cash flow, any of those things, it's a win-win situation for both of you. So if you're looking to get out of your flip, you have some options. You can look at the DSCR, which is a longer term, up to 40 years, interest only, all kinds of products. You can look at a bridge loans that are quick, efficient, especially if you're looking for something just for a year or less. Ultimately, if you could, you could find that OPM, that other people's money. It's probably good to start looking now. So if you have a flip that's in trouble and you want someone to look at it, give you some ideas, tell you your tipping point between a DSCR, a bridge, anything like that, let us know. We literally scour the nation looking at hundreds of different loans. We fund some ourselves, but we're also looking for the best debt for your position to make you the most profitable. Reach out to us, our email is below. We'd be glad to quickly look at your loan. If we can't help you, we probably know someone who can.